first asked to give a wow speech, I ran into a little bit of trouble, not finding something to say, but picking something about myself to talk about. I had acting, writing, gymnastics, swimming, Latin, underwater robotics. I had a lot to choose from. And then it occurred to me, why did I feel like I had to pick a part of myself? And why was I embarrassed about some of those parts? Things I was good at, or if I wasn't that good at them, enjoyed immensely, whether I had a knack for it or not. And I eventually came to the conclusion that it was because a lot of different people knew a lot of different versions of me. And so that got me thinking about being real and being authentic and being those things all of the time. So what is authenticity? Some might say it's truth in practice, truth in action, honesty as a verb. In the words of Anais Nin, terrifying sincerity. <laughs> terrifying sincerity isn't easy. There are so many roles to slip into and choose to fill that more often than not, it is easier to have separate parts of yourself for separate parts of your life. But I believe that a person is more than a simple definition. That a definition might be easier, but isn't as honest. Honesty takes courage. The truth will always have an element of vulnerability. So being authentic takes trust in others, of course. But I think it also takes trust in yourself. Because it takes self-awareness to know your strengths, to know your weaknesses, and to recognize in yourself what you already love about yourself. And so, as I kept trying and trying to write this talk and thinking about the versions of myself, what I liked, what I didn't, slowly what I was proud of became much more important than that of which I wasn't. Which is not to say that who we are or who I am is set in stone. Sometimes life is a roller coaster or a ship in high seas or a journey through uncharted territory. I'm 18. I have a lot of uncharted territory still ahead of me. <laughs> but let's go back about a decade into some charted territory. When I was eight years old, and I went to the Freeland Library, and I checked out, and I read, and I reread every single book they had on horses. I was that horse girl. Everybody knows one. And though my horseback riding days were short-lived and very long ago at this point, there was a phrase from one of those books that stuck with me all this time. And it goes like this. When you're having trouble with your horse, you need to deepen your seat, sink into the saddle. Isn't that a novel concept? Deepen your seat. And I must have repeated that phrase to myself a thousand times in the last 10 years when I was anxious or uncertain or I felt off balance. It was such a reassuring mantra to me, because what I took that phrase to mean is that when life gets rough, you need to plant yourself even more firmly in who you are. You need to take root and bloom through sunny days and blue skies and wind and rain and all kinds of weather. And blooming doesn't have to mean that you are open or transparent to every single person that you meet. For me, it's as simple as not censoring my voice, as not setting up cages for myself, or not trying to fill an archetype. So remember that Latin I mentioned earlier? So five years of it convinced me that just about anything in our Western civilization can be traced back to Greco-Roman roots. The SAT is kind of proof of this. <laughs> so when I went hunting for the etymology of the word authentic, I wasn't that surprised to find that it corresponded with an ancient Latin adjective, authenticus aum, meaning original, genuine, from the author. We are all authors, all of us here today, whether we realize it or not. Because what are we doing here on this planet, really doing, but writing our own life stories, one sunrise and one sunset at a time? Who I am and who I want to be are wholly up to me, one sunrise and one sunset at a time. And so I would like to invite everyone here today to join me, to celebrate who each of us are, to deepen our seats when things get hard, and most importantly, to make sure that we are in charge of our own narratives and not 
stumbling through the steps of somebody else's script. And I promise to do the same. Thank you.